He needs one more frame to become champion and win his second uh, European tournament. He won one last year in Belgium, beat Mark Selby 4-1 and made three centuries. He, of course, made one there in that last frame. And he's beat some really good players to get to the final. Robin Hull, Tony Drago, Mark Williams, Mark Davis, Judd Trump, and then Robbie Williams in the semi-finals. Caught it too thin, and that could have been end of frame and match had that cue ball gone back down. A raise of the hand, but I think it was to say, I'm really fortunate. was a tough pot to take on. Well, he gets his chance, Ding Junhui. Black doesn't go for the moment, but I think the red will, just above it. 27 and a half minutes since he potted the ball. One. Well, the quality is there, we know that, but of course he also knows that one mistake, one miss, and it could be all over. So the pressure's on Ding Jun Wee. some people would say why not make the finals a bit longer but uh, the idea of the event is to have every match the same length and also you have to say that the players have played a lot of snooker just to get this far Seven. How has he got it in there? Go team. <laughs> he deserved a round of applause for that one. Lots of right hand side on the cue ball there. Now, will he open the reds or play for one of those loose ones? Well, he deserves to be on something. He is to the left corner, but the black still tied up for the moment. Pink and blue is available. Couldn't have asked for a better split than that. Well, I suppose he could. He could have asked for the black to be free. Good sign, though. He's uh, aggressive and trying to force his way back into the match. Oh, he didn't want that. He didn't want that. And there's a big pressure shot coming up here. Another wave at his opponent, but... He's not potted it yet, though, has he? No, absolutely. Plan to come past the pink. Take it into the same pocket. Aye, he says. 
Oh, it's nice to see him smiling. But these are not gimmies. Yeah, good shot. I expected to take him take it to the corner. But he preferred the middle. Again, he's very fortunate to have got that full ball kiss. Could have hit it half ball. Mark Allen was smiling there to himself. Here it is again. Played to miss that red. Caught it full ball. Nicely on the pink. Well, when he takes this red, the red next to the black will go into that same pocket. Thirty-four. Just to confirm, let's have a look. Doesn't go. Forty. Thanks to the black. Well, forty. Now then, Mark Allen, not an easy table. This. Easy starter for a red. He never quite looked comfortable though, did he? In that break, things were kind of going wrong, and he was getting a couple of nice nudges, and eventually he's broken down. Well, that was never an easy starter. Hasn't left anything easy for Ding Junhui though. Red does go next to the black. Can understand why he didn't play for it last time round. One Good pot. <laughs> well, that should win him this frame. Thirteen. Uh, 
wants to leave the Thank black you. where it is. Nineteen. Yeah. Well, I may have got a little bit of a bad bounce there. But it only needs the pink and one of these reds. Needed a couple of chances, but uh, five, five. as Joe says, this is effectively to make it 3 1. And as I said at the start of the frame, the audience here, many of them would like to see all seven frames. Four snookers needed, so Ding Jun Wee, 32 Mark in the Allen break. remains in his seat. So Ding Jun Wee has, uh, at the very least, averted the whitewash. He's won his first frame of the final. Mark Allen, though, still in a very strong position here in Mulheim. He leads the Ruhr Open final by three frames to one.